Have you ever found yourself feeling really stuck and fed up and frustrated, but not sure how to get out and get moving again? Chances are you have, because I think most of us do feel this way several times during our lives. For me, possibly the most, this feeling was the strongest back 10 years ago, back in 2011, when I was, as a violinist, I was mainly um, teaching and I was performing at the weekends, but I wanted to do more. But I had a lot of limiting beliefs. I had a lot of ideas about myself, about the industry, about the possibilities, which were stopping me from moving forward. Just in case you don't know me, my name's Jenny Clift, and I am a violinist and an EFT coach. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about EFT, a tiny bit what it is, but how you can use it on your own. Because although you can work with a coach, someone like me, or there's lots of people out there, um, it's a great technique to be able to use on your own. And I'll, I'll share with you three ways that I use it regularly and I, um, when I talk to my clients about using it, these are what I would, this is what I would say to them. So basically EFT stands for emotional freedom techniques. It's an energy healing technique. So what we're doing is using the same kind of points, the acupressure points that you see being used in acupuncture, for example, and the energy field, which you find in Chinese medicine and techniques like Reiki or Qigong, Tai Chi, these kind of things. And now they've done a lot of scientific studies to show that when we tap on these points, which is what we're going to be doing, um, it brings down cortisol, stress hormone, it disconnects the fight or flight reaction. And it started to be used by many sports people, more and more in the fields of arts, music, performance, public speaking, anywhere, well, life, basically, where stress happens, and we want to bring it down so that we can think clearly and feel much better. Uh, so when do I suggest you use it? Um, first of all, it's so simple. You can use it anywhere. Yes, you're tapping on points on your face and your body, and I get it. It looks kind of strange when you're not used to it. I'm so used to it now that I don't even think about it. But for five years, the first five years of knowing about this technique, I didn't fess up to anyone. So I was very, very discreet about it. But you can do it discreetly. These points can be kind of stimulated. They're the kind of points that you touch anyway when you're um, stressed out. You know, if you have a headache, this kind of thing, or you, oh, if you have a shock, you know, naturally one goes to these points so you can do them discreetly you can just tap of course but you can also just hold the points or breathe and there are ways of doing this without causing a scandal <laughs> um, so I suggest to my clients and for myself three different ways one if we're tapping about a specific issue or event so for example if you've got an audition coming up um, or a series of concerts and there's nerves happening. Um, just recently, I've been tapping with a client about a specific spot in a specific piece that she's having to perform over and over again. And she's freaking out about it. She, she's not hitting those two notes. And so we tap and we get really specific on that. And basically what you're doing is tapping around the points while you talk about it. So we, we say things like, I'm so afraid of these two notes. I keep missing them and I'm terrified. What do people think? And so that kind of thing, anything that's coming up for you. And I tell my clients, focus on the emotions, on the feelings. By that, I mean the physical sensations where you feel those emotions. So it may be a pounding heart or it may be very often your solar plexus feels tight or whatever. So you're tapping there and the thoughts that are coming up. What will people think of me? They're going to think I'm terrible. So these kind of things. And you just do a couple of rounds of tapping. What I'll do as well is share a link to a video that I have with those tapping points, and then you can see how it works and everything. The second way I definitely use it myself is what I call firefighting. So I don't know, very often if I'm feeling angry with someone, something's happened and I'm really upset or angry or, or, or hurt or any of these emotions, 
I'll go for a walk on my own and tap around the points and say, I'm so mad at someone. And tapping and ranting is fantastic because even though you're ranting, which normally I'm not a great fan of, you're tapping at the same time. So you're giving your body a, a signal, I'm safe now, this happened, I accept that this happened, I'm not pushing it against it, pushing against it anymore, it did happen, and I still accept myself, and I can keep going, I can learn from my mistakes, and I can feel better about myself, and about other people. So this kind of thinking is behind how we're doing it. So firefighting is strong emotions like fear, like uh, anger, sadness, jealousy. Oh, the amount of times I've tapped, I've seen a social media post and, oh my God, they're doing so well. So I tap me, even though they're doing so much better than me, I feel so much envy and I'm so jealous and I want to be in the spotlight so all these kind of things the third way i would use it is maintenance so just the same as every day hopefully we brush our teeth um we can tap every day we can we're working with our energy system and keeping that energy clear is really really vital uh we wake up in the morning i don't know about you i often wake up in the morning feeling good and depending on what happened the night before, I feel good. But then as the day goes on, you start taking on other people's energy. You watch the news, maybe. I try and avoid that as much as possible. Um, but we take on so much. So having this daily energy clearing, um, wording that is really helpful for that is I release. So, for example, I release anything and everything in my energy field, which is not completely beneficial, for example. And then you go around the point saying, release anything and everything. I'm clearing my energy. I'm letting go of anything that doesn't serve me. Letting it go so I can feel centered and grounded, so I can come back to myself and feel at peace with myself and my world. That kind of wording is really helpful. And if you do just a couple of rounds like that in, in minutes, you've given yourself that clarity and that clearing in your energy field. When do I suggest to people to reach out? Um, well, if there are also maybe four different ways, I would say. Um, if you suspect you're avoiding an issue, but it's something you want to be working at, on, but you can't go there, then I would reach out because we have a mechanism inside of ourselves, which is a protective mechanism, which says, I'm only going this far and no further. When you work with someone else, and someone else who is trained in these techniques, then they can help you to go further. They can help you to see more um, and get new perspectives and change your thinking, change your energy, change your, your reactions to things, um, but in a safe way. So that's one, one reason. Another is if you, if you have patterns that keep on recurring, I don't know, maybe in relationships, or maybe every time you go to an orchestra, the first violin is a complete and utter whatever, and you're so triggered by that. Or maybe you have a, a pattern of not practicing, for example, or you know you've got to get something done, procrastination, perfectionism, that's another one. So all of these things, we have these systems in place, as I say, which are where we avoid doing things. So working with someone else can help us to bring ourselves out of this because we know we want to work, act in a different way. Also, if you are very triggered by something, so you know something really toxic is happening, definitely reach out as well. Um, going in deep in this way has to be done safely. So I would reckon uh, if you really kind of know I've got stuff in my past or even in my present and I could really do with someone to work with me, that would be another reason. And finally, if you... You know, if you if you feel that need to connect and to be 
working through this with someone else because as I say we forget to do it we do it once maybe but it's not easy and it doesn't and then we just carry on with life so if you're ready to kind of open up but as I say EFT basically emotional freedom techniques is this great technique which you can use it's portable you have it at the tips of your fingers literally the words that you use are so um, easy and free. Anything that's coming to mind, just naming the emotion over and over again. So it doesn't have to be difficult. And I always say to all my musician clients and actors and stage performers, you've learned things which are so much harder than this. This is, this is really a piece of cake connected, uh, can, can compared with that. So I hope you found this useful. Um, I'd love to hear your comments, what your feelings, if you've used EFT, if you've seen it or talked to anyone who has, and um, keep tapping.